Hello everyone and welcome to the masterclass of UK crossings. This video helps us understand a little bit more about zebra crossings, toucan crossings, pegasus crossings, which is sometimes also known as equestrian crossings, pelican crossings, puffin crosses and staggered crossings. Before we delve in, I just want to bring your attention to these images right here. Oftentimes when we're driving, there are clues that indicate a crossing is coming up. The first clue is this zigzag line on the side of the road. And the second clue is this road sign, which means pedestrians might be crossing. When you see these, what you want to do is drive as carefully as you can, slow down if necessary, and prepare to stop if necessary. The first crossing we're going to talk about is the zebra crossing. This crossing has black and white stripes, it often has a lollipop stick, and it often has zigzags on the side of the road. The pedestrian has right of way on this crossing. You must stop and you mustn't drive off until they reach the end of the crossing. If you have a look at these images, sometimes you might mistake them for zebra crossings. They're not. Zebra crossings are always black and white stripes. These crossings are not. The next road sign we're going to look at is the toucan crossing. An easy way to remember the toucan crossing is by saying the word slowly, to can meaning two can cross get it this crossing allows pedestrians and cyclists to cross at the same time it's designed wide enough to allow this comfortably the equestrian crossing is the next one we're going to look at the equestrian crossing is often referred to as pegasus crossing in case you were wondering in greek mythology pegasus is a winged horse it's actually medusa's child but anyways that's another story for another day the equestrian crossing features an additional button higher up so the rider can reach. And lastly, this crossing can also be used by pedestrians and cyclists. The next crossing is a pelican crossing. It's a pedestrian crossing that's a little bit old school. It features a timer. So this is the only crossing that has a flashing amber stage. As the driver, when you see a flashing amber, it means proceed with caution. So you've got to really open your eyes, take it easy and drive extremely safely because if there's any pedestrians, you don't want to be driving, you want to stop. <laughs> a puffing crossing is the next one we're going to look at. A puffing crossing and a pelican crossing are often confused, but there's actually no need to be confused. A puffing cross, unlike a pelican, has a sensor. It's a little bit more intelligent. There's no need for a flashing amber stage with this crossing and it doesn't have one. The sensors will only give you a green light as a driver once the pedestrian has fully crossed. By the way, a puffing crossing stands for pedestrian user friendly interface. Some roads have staggered crossings and all this means is that a pedestrian has to cross the road in two stages. If the staggered road is made up of zebra crossings, you as the driver won't have to wait for the pedestrian to cross the entire stretch of the road, but you do have to wait for them to reach the island. And we are done. I hope you found the video informative. Check out the description box below. I've placed some links in there that might be useful. And lastly, don't forget to check out my other videos in my car series. Those might be handy too. So leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.